So this is the balcony I'm shooting from uh, quite a bit with, with my still photography. And it's uh, north, yeah, well, actually it's uh, east facing. And yeah, we have a lot of life that happens on this side. And of course over here we have the building that I shoot a lot and I shoot a lot of the people, the construction workers. And you can see it's not the tallest building ever, but it does go up quite a bit. Right to the tippity top. Uh, and I do have a net to contend with here because it's uh, it's a balcony. The only thing that I have is this little safety railing. And we're 10 floors up. Uh, the net really is here just to keep the pigeons out because they are a nuisance like you wouldn't believe. Or maybe if you lived in the city and around pigeons you would believe. But unlike vampires, they don't need a formal invitation to come and basically make a home out of your balcony and it becomes a mess. So what I've been shooting today, doing some still shots of, are these construction workers down here. And they're just putting up the, the bamboo scaffolding to do some painting or yeah, some, some prep work, maybe putting windows in or, or something, railings. Um, but I think it's mainly just for painting. Um, so they've done the same thing over here. You can see the bamboo that goes all the way to the tippy top. And I haven't been out here at the same time when they're putting up the scaffolding from the ground up. I've caught them kind of midway in the building process. Sorry about the netting, it's kind of difficult to get the, the focus right on my phone here. So, and this is kind of uh, the community that's kind of north facing from the balcony. And we've got some odd, odd cluster of buildings down here. Uh, more of a Marathi uh, settlement here of, of people, sort of like Charles. They're um, mostly poor people that live in the in these, but they're a lot more well-to-do off than a lot of the people on the streets that I see on a daily basis. But, you know, poverty or, or being poor uh, has so many different degrees in India, it's really hard to talk about one group of people and, and say how that relates to maybe the people that are just living beyond the buildings in these smaller tenements. Uh, I mean, you can see them just beyond the, the, the last green building with some of the blue tarps. Um, but even these structures, I don't know how well you can see them, but even these structures are, are a lot better than a lot of the stuff that I see in the makeshift slums in Mumbai or in India in general. And all this stuff is just tucked in with a lot of the other regular buildings, you know, around the, around the neighborhood here. So, just wanted to show you guys one, probably my favorite shooting spot for doing my telephoto sniping shots. You know, the, the kind of shooting that, you know, street photographers don't really consider authentic or, or true or honest or whatever. But, you know, sometimes when you have injuries, like I've been, you know, complaining about nonstop for the past two months or so, when you've got an injury and you can't shoot people down on the streets like you're accustomed to doing, uh, if you can't do anything, if, you, if you're going to risk re-injuring yourself and staying injured for a long time, which is kind of what I've been stupidly been doing because I really hate staying at home. Here's my cat. It's Toby. Toby, say hi. Thank you. So, yeah, so when you're when you're stuck in a building, man, it's what can you do? You got to shoot what you can shoot. And fortunately, I've got a lot of scenery around here to shoot. I just have to step out on the balcony and take my shots. I have my three strangers a day project that I've been doing since January 1st basically three images of strangers every day. I can get that from up here. They may not be the most interesting shots, but I'm not giving up on my project just because I'm, I'm going to be a whiny person and not go out and, and, and do my work. I mean, I'll go out anyway. I'll go out and ride around on, on these rickshaws down here, right? I can catch these things from outside my building at any time of the day. I can go in just about anywhere in Mumbai, with the exception of maybe in the southern parts where they're not allowed. But I really have a lot of options up here. I'm fortunate that way. To, have, to be a street photographer and to have an everyday project, I've got a lot of material just, just right outside any of my, my doors, really.
So anyway, thanks for watching and checking the video out. I, I hope to do more of these videos in the future. And the cat wants something, so I better go.